So I'm trying to come up with an idea for behind the scenes this weekend, and I'm a little into it right now. Uh, yeah, you, you know, you, you know, you? just a little bit. Yeah. So I'm thinking that because Pennywise is a villain that isn't just a creepy clown, he transforms into whatever your biggest fear is. Maybe we should talk about everyone's childhood fear growing up. Eh? Eh? Yeah. yeah. So I have a topic that I think is going to be perfect for you. Okay, I'm ready. Can't you want to stand next to the rock? Yes, please. We'll pull him out. Thank you, Cobster. Give me Pennywise. Oh yeah. Oh wait, the real Pennywise or my belly I wanna, beans? We could do both. Belly beans. Uh, hello, I'm Haya. Pennywise. Haya, Georgie. You are the interview I was most excited to do for this episode of Pride I, I would Behind imagine, the Scenes and Bloopers. I would imagine that that's every week, though. Like, I'm your most excited interview to I'll do. give you a little credit. It is often in honor of it coming out into theaters yes. and in honor of Pennywise being a villain that reflects your greatest fear, what scared the crap out of you as, as a child. Oh, Pennywise. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I I had a babysitter when I was five years old show me the It miniseries. If you came face to face with Pennywise as a little Adam, oh yeah, what would Pennywise turn into? Uh oh, uh, because he's the shape shifting yes, uh, Pennywise. Yes. So element what was here. your greatest fear as a child? My father. Well, Perry, I'm scared of a lot of things. Yes, you uh, are. I'm scared of. I'm. I mean. I'm a very jumpy person, very, very jumpy. The original fear was cockroaches because okay. they're about this big in Taiwan and they have wings that they can use and they fly. Um, and there's been many a nights where I was a child, I was sleeping and you hear it, like this horrible sound. I used to be scared to death to sleep by myself. Uh, I would go sneak into my parents' room because in first grade I stayed home and uh, watched a man try to break into my house. So it scared the crap out of me and scarred me for a while. That's a very reasonable fear. I know. Have I not that. told this story? I couldn't get into the shower without somebody having to stand outside. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Got really dark again. <laughs> no, uh, no. Uh, yeah, no. My dad's a great guy. I love you, Pops. Um, yeah, yeah. My brother is my best friend, but when growing up, he scared the shit out of me all of the time. Like, all of the time. He would like sneak in my bedroom. <laughs> nice, Cody. I got the chills all over my So you've clearly overcome that fear because I've witnessed you try to usher out a cockroach from this office. Well, because they don't fly here in the States. Okay. So I'm okay with that. Where, but like, if they flew, I think you would find me hovering like on the floor in a ball crying. Yeah, I've somebody never heard that. somebody knocked on the door and I was home alone and uh, probably shouldn't have been home alone. Thanks, mom and dad. The hell was wrong with you? First grade, I go down and I wasn't gonna answer and I just kinda, and I saw a guy look into the window to see if anybody was home and I got scared and kinda stood just waiting and then I heard him go around back. I went up to my sister's room and I looked out and he was trying the garage door and I didn't know what to do. I didn't call the cops and he left. And he just he, left? He just left and I told my mom later when she got oh home. Oh my God, thank and God And she's left. like, holy, you're like, wait, you're supposed to call the cops and I was just, freaking scared shitless. I was shown killer clowns from outer space <laughs> yes. when I was five, and at the time I was really scared of it, but then when I grew up and I was actually watching it with more of more of a, a movie-goer mind, I understood that, oh, this is a horror comedy, and I'm not supposed to go to bed being afraid of being in a little cocoon thing with a straw sucking my blood out. That's a thing that happens in the movie. You know, <laughs> what, what would be like the physical embodiment of like a failure kind Why of deal? Why are we all cracking up? I know, I know. That's that's not right, guys. Uh, this is, uh, you know, striking really close to home for me, you know. That, uh, sleepless fair, nights. Though. I don't know if uh, Pennywise can express failure, but if that was something that Pennywise could scare me with, I would be afraid of that. Of course, because it's terrifying and it's always looming over your shoulder. You never know when you just might fail. <laughs> so it was something that actually. I had nightmares about um, for a few years after that because I just a random stranger coming to your home and um, you didn't do anything. I mean, it, it, for all I know, it could have been a neighbor, but my mom didn't tell me, well, that was a neighbor, you know, yeah. uncle neighbor was coming over. So it's, it freaked me out for I a while. I understand 
that. Yeah, That's so he didn't, reasonable. and it wasn't traumatic. He didn't do anything. He didn't break in. He didn't attack me. It was just, you know, some guy rattling the handle and looking around, and then looking in the like. I always remember him looking into the side window, like, is anybody home? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it touched me. Like, it touched me. It touched me. Oh, my God. Cody. Yeah. Popster seems to know the answer to this question. Oh, yeah, we're, yeah. As a kid, what scared you most? It's not just as a kid, Perry. It's still now. I still have this extremely irrational fear. Octopuses or octopi, whatever you want to call these creatures from hell. <laughs> What? They are terrifying. My biggest fear has always been, which is kind of ironic, um, it's, it has always been water. I'm super, super, super hydrophobic. I mean, I'm still afraid of heights. I, I love roller coasters. You wouldn't go on the zip line. I yes, that was it was way too high. I uh, yeah, I'm 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 very afraid of the dark. Uh, I mean, so afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of bugs. I hate bugs. Um, I, I love living in Southern California because you rarely do see like a lot of bugs, but it's not like Florida. Or, Ooh, you know, Florida's like, bad. Florida has a ton of bugs. Like, when I lived in New York, uh, my first apartment I lived in, I like, my first night in the apartment, I'm taking a shower, and there was a roach on the shower wall, like, as big as three fingers. And it was huge, man, maybe, like, two, two and a half fingers. I don't know what it is. I've had nightmares when I was a kid when, like, I'd be out in the ocean, just swimming aimlessly in the dark, and all of a sudden, this tentacle comes up and just yanks you down into its beak. And then it kills you. Into its beak. Yeah, I don't know. Do um, they don't these have kind, these kind of octopuses do. The ones I fear do. Okay. They're these Co bird Cody's octopus, octopus, octopus needs octopus its hybrids. own name. It's its own breed. It's like a bird octopus. Like I don't like lakes. I don't like. I certainly don't like ocean. I mean, like sometimes I get a little spooked in the bathtub. Like no joke. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did something happen? No. You know, I've never almost like drowned or anything like that. I'm just like very makes me very claustrophobic. Uh, I like roller coasters. I. I don't like heights, if that makes sense. Like I hate fair, I hate Ferris wheels, because you're just sitting That's up. That's sad. Because you're just sitting at the top of the, like you just sit there, and you uh, you have nothing but time. You have nothing but time to just look That's down the fun of and it. and feel the impending doom. Roller coaster is is scary and exhilarating, but it's quick. I see you, Thad. I see you. Get out of here. I see you. Get out of here. <laughs> there are so many all. YouTube videos of like these scuba divers going out there with cameras and the octopus will grab the camera trying to kill the guy and it'll run off or swim off, of course. So did you bastards. see something as a kid? Did something spark this I don't scare? know what it was. Maybe it was like a 20,000 leagues under the sea type thing with the squid. I don't know. Squids are terrifying too. Going camping in the woods at night, you'll never see me in the woods. I don't care if my kid, like if I have kids one day or whatever, and he's like, Dad, I really want to go camping. I was like, call your friend's parents and go with them or like go on a family vacation. My, the, out, the most outdoors my family will ever be is like the beach. That's... That's it. We are not an outdoorsy family for, for obvious reasons. I Is he going to come too. around the corner? I heard that too. Yeah. <laughs> Any kind of creature in fluid around me that I can't control <laughs> is really disturbing. Sharks are the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Do you remember, like, you ever seen those videos where the octopus, like, goes inside uh, of a fishbowl and it gets all tiny, then it escapes? No. It's terrifying. Can you one on? I can, I can find one. Hold on. <laughs> I think Stand we need by. a reaction of, of Cody watching this video. Yeah, like, there's something about scary movies. Like, I think the first scary movie, I, I thought I saw something coming out of there. Um, the first scary movie I ever saw was Children of the Corn. Did you ever see Children of the Corn? You know what this movie is? I'm gonna stay I, like this now. I'm gonna stay like this. I just watched Children of the Corn last week. Yeah, that movie is terrifying. The guy, the guy is it like Micah? Is that the head of it? Or like, um, is it Kaya or something? Very Amish sound. Ma Malachi is the, the kid with the red hair. Oh my God, that, that movie is terrifying. <laughs> Okay, we're watching this here. He's putting the lid on it underwater. Okay. Octopus is just it's, curled up into it. this jaw. Oh no, now it's going not in feeling nice. it. All right, now he's tightening it on there. There's no way this thing can possibly yeah. escape, right? Right? It's like, it's look got this. the arrows. This guy with it the hands, he's got a wedding ring, he's locked. a family man, he's about to get killed. Okay, look at this, look at it, look at, look at the intelligence in that beak. That's like raptors figuring out how to right? open doors in right? Jurassic now, Park. He's gonna use those Terrifying ass suction cups. It's Look at those evil thing. eyes. They only live those in Those yellow water possessed demon eyes office. doing this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at it. Unreal. Oh. Unreal. That's you try to trap of, one of those things, it's gonna kill cool. you. That's a horror movie right there. That's kind of cool. That is terrifying. Oh, look at his little face. Ugh. 
It's so proud and of it's itself. It's going back on the hunt again. Yeah. Look at well, that. It's going back inside because it's I've like, gone out to consume get more souls. Look at this thing. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. That was great. And then it shoots ink at you. Ugh. Do you have anything that scares you now? Like when you see a horror movie, mm -hmm. what is it that really gets in your head that you can't shake after? It's like it's like mom and child stories or children in danger. I can't think of any off the top of like I'm not like a scare uh, I'm not like scared of spiders or scared of snakes or anything like that. I'm like speaking of Cal, I'm I'm scared for my little boy. I I want to protect him and sometimes I worry about him like getting off the leash and god this is going to be schmaltzy but yeah i just i i get i literally look at cal and i just go how can i stop time and it scares me that i will lose cal when i was a little bit older my mom sat me down on the couch one day she's like you want to watch something with me i was like oh sure what are we watching she's like oh it's this tv series called it and i was like mom okay <laughs> what is it she's like it's really great you're gonna love it it's about kids and i'm like oh Okay, like me, great. And I was like nine or 10. I could list off forever things I'm scared of. Uh, like convenience stores after dark, because I think somebody's gonna break in there. Uh, I don't like, like I, like, I don't like going places where there's like a lot of wind. Wind scares me. <laughs> wind is very scary, because it makes everything quiet. And I always think, do you ever see that, that movie when you were a kid where the girl's like hair couldn't stop growing and she kept cutting it and like putting it in trash bags and it was always windy and her hair was getting caught in like bushes. Do you ever see that? Right. Let's just make something up. That he's afraid of. I'm looking for a prop here. Yeah, I know. You want to, I'm a, I've always had a big fear of old people. Like, like, <laughs> like. Wait, wait, wait. Did, no, no, I'm just making this shit up. <laughs> okay. but, uh, Stuff like uh, Paranormal Activity 2. Right, so you've got this little baby that's just constantly like that this demon is trying to get. And that just made me, it put me on edge to begin with. Um, but moms and kids stories like Poltergeist uh, or Rosemary's Baby or The Babadook uh, or Goodnight Mommy, you know, these are things that like make me go, oh. And then I watched it, we watched both and it's never been the same and my fear of clowns was actually born from watching that TV series. And that fear still exists today, correct? I can't, I can't look at clowns. I actually went to the Midsummer Scream, which is like a horror convention for all the haunts. And I don't know how you can fit so many clowns in one space. It was awful. When I was living in Manhattan, it was an enclosed hallway. So mm -hmm. I would let Dewey run up and down the hallway because my apartment was wood floor, carpet in the hallway, and he liked to run on the carpet. When I moved out here, one of my biggest fears was moving into an apartment complex that is not enclosed because what if he got out and he ran away? And before moving out here, there were a couple nights where I had nightmares about him getting out the door and running into the hallway and just hopping over and piecing out down the street or something. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what it, I, I went immediately to Cal, just maybe because I was thinking about it last night where I, I, I literally went in my head, how can I stop time? Little old ladies scare the crap out of huh. me. So if I see a little old lady, like, like it's, you know, it's probably from watching Psycho as a kid, like mm -hmm. the little old lady in the rocking chair, okay. no spoilers. Uh, if you haven't seen Psycho yet, you should probably see Psycho. Um, but uh, yeah, no, no, little, little, little old ladies can creep me out. Thank God we don't work with any little old ladies here at Collider, otherwise you wouldn't be able to come to work. Yeah, otherwise it'd be a big problem. Like, I don't like phone booths. Like, what happens in phone booths? Well, phone booths are, um, I, like, I don't like phone booths too, because they're, they're birds? gross. Birds? Birds? Birds are the worst. Bird, birds are creepy. Birds are creepy. Like, birds can fly at you. They're always, like, around. Like, you see a bird and they're just fearless. They're just kind of looking at you like, <laughs> and they're like, get out of here. And they're like, no, I'm gonna sit around like seagulls. No fucking thank you. Seagulls are scary. And not because of the movie Birds, but because seagulls are legit scary. <laughs> Copster's giving me the wrap up sign. I could go on for days. Oh, I'm scared of Copster's finger. Do you see his little weird finger? Going there? <laughs> it's a scary finger. Uh, we could go on for days, Perry. Uh, like if you had me, if you had a podcast, I'd like, what are you scared of? This would be your longest episode. I think that's that's Stores the plan. Days. That's that's gonna have and to happen. Put that fucking picture up there. What the hell? <laughs> Stop <laughs> doing this! God damn it! <laughs> ah! Stop it! Is kind of good. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. I don't, I don't know when this creepy noise is gonna happen, so I'm gonna keep talking. <laughs> yeah, well, the timing's all over here. <laughs> Shit, we fucked that up. Are you gonna say bloopers? Bloopers. <laughs> 
Good job, Copster. A short time ago in a galaxy right here, right now, Disney announced that they will be starting... We're off to a great fucking start. And we have a couple of bits of breaking news. The first one is that if you were driving around in Burbank yesterday and you happened to notice somebody who looked a lot like Dennis Zen on the one first street exit, that was actually Dennis Zen, ladies and gentlemen. He ran out of gas so he could meet and greet all you lovely fans. Good morning on a sensual Wednesday. Please tweet me your quitter. Quitter. Quitter <laughs> questions. Yep, we're quitting. That's it. <laughs> and I'll see myself out. Kanan and Hera are going to do some kissing finally, maybe. And um, I love the stuff. <laughs> Please text me, tweet me your Twitter question. 9 a.m. has been brutal on this crew. It's day two and we are falling apart. I'll see you John Roca. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome. How's it going? <laughs> Thanks, Ashley, for another thrilling introduction. What? <laughs> Woo! I none wish. of those, none of those woos uh, came from Miss Smith Lord. I'm just gonna well, say but that. Well, Dennis, I will no longer charge you if this comes through to Woo! come over. Yeah, we all made eye contact. Tiffany's like, guys, let's do could, it. And could then you we, guys do that the next time I kiss, uh, kiss my lady, like just in the background? Absolutely. Wow. I will be your traveling Woo! Saved by the Bell crowd. If love, you it. Want. <laughs> love it. Aww. Love it. Love it. They were trying to make it into a backdoor pilot, and it was. That's what she said. And um, <laughs> they uh, come Woo! over. I mean, did you see like my eyes yes. closed and like, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> because they don't have the guts to nominate him, and that bothers me a lot. But overall, I think the film <laughs> should be nominated. <laughs> <laughs> I was just agreeing. With okay. I promise, I was just agreeing with him. He infamously passed on the Blair Witch Project, and it haunted him forever. <laughs> <laughs> Made him stand and in the corner. That's for right. Years. That's right. He was standing in the corner, uh, sad over all those dollars that he did not acquire. That's for you, cops. That was a hard joke. <laughs> I feel because. bad for people losing their jobs, but you signed on for it. <laughs> so we're here at IT, and uh, we're usually at screenings. There's one person that really does not want to be here tonight. You fucking assholes. My brother texts me, he's like, yo, Lila Garrity? Question mark? I was like, yeah, <laughs> Lila Garrity. <laughs> you guys are such losers. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep. The McCuga brothers, losers. Lila Garrity? Question mark? <laughs> Okay, this one it comes from Jesus, who writes. What? What? Jesus. That's okay. that's his Twitter handle. Okay. Jesus. Right. <laughs> Thank it. you for gracing us with your. <laughs> well, this is indeed an honor. Get, bu 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 singing, <laughs> berets and baguettes and doing French stuff, cigarettes. Like, come on, it's. David, take it. I, I enjoyed La La Land. Um, I also enjoyed Drumline as well. The, 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 Wait, did Jamie Chazelle do you do mean Drumline? Whiplash? I think you mean oh, Whiplash. whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe I'm going to try some edibles before. And then I was like, it's not about being stoned. I was like, really? It's called stoner. Had to do a little research. I was like, ah, I'll still eat some edibles before I see the movie just to get into the flow of this like hard scrabble life or whatever. Drumline is Nick Cannon. That's Nick Cannon. My bad. That's Nick Cannon. I was getting that mixed up. Sorry. Drum line. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's about drumming. I would love if people look back on me and they said, you know that Mark Ellis, he had a real hard Scrabble life. That's one of my least favorite games to play. Scrabble? You don't no, like Scrabble? Because I always used to play it against my dad, and he always beat me. I've never beaten my dad before. Well, Aww. get used to it, man. I'm going to do a British accent for David today. Oh, I'm, I'm pick of the day. <laughs> A pick of the day, David. No? Old man Griffin, <laughs> you, me, one on one, Scrabble. Let's That's do right. it, but we don't need to words with friends, and yeah. I will fly to you. Because we're celebrating our first appearance on a daily TV talk by the one, the only, the scariest of scary, Miss Perry Nemerov. I made such a big impression two weeks ago that he's totally <laughs> forgotten about oh, me. I forgot. <laughs> It's great to have you back, Perry. It's I'm really happy to amazing be here. to have you back <laughs> on a saucy Thursday. Woo, we are starting off hot today. I've been stressed out for two days. I haven't true? slept well in two nights. No, it's 100% true. Had dreams last night of ghosts, and then I sat up in bed and realized I'm going to have nightmares all week long. You know what scares me? When you're going over with a shoot and you're seeing Adam's face in the background, and he's just like. <laughs> You're gonna hear screams, a lot of screams tonight, like really girlish screams. That is the look, oh, yeah. and I feel yeah, like you were serious. looking at me. <laughs> I was, the whole time. <laughs> Hiya, Georgie. We're gonna go to DeFreeze style. <laughs> oh, we don't even have the DeFreeze style graphic anymore, huh? We're still waiting on a graphic. We're never going to see it. <laughs> so let's let's do our segment. They're Maybe. like hard at work back there too. <laughs> oh, 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 do you want a balloon? Oh, oh popcorn. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. 
but I, I think that I, I give Malik all the all the, the, the gravitas in the world. I don't know what that word means either. He's, it's a hard scrabble balls. job. Balls. You know? It means balls. Oh, does it? Yeah. You got the balls. Cojones, Cojones. as they say. Yeah. Let's Robin. move on to Bad Mom's <laughs> Christmas. This is basically student radio right now. We're just running student radio. We're crushing this live stream. Hiya, Georgie. <laughs> Guys with beards are just really turning. I mean, yeah. All right. Let's do some, uh, <laughs> let's do some Twitter questions, Grace. What do you think? How'd you do, buddy? <laughs> Don't ever fucking do that to me again. I saw you react. How many times you think you put your hands over your face? Like every ten, ten minutes. Like every five, every time there was something that could happen. Would you like to go to a circus with me next week? <laughs> Good God. No. That painting that came alive. There's no. I'm. I'm not. This okay. is... right, how long do you think this is gonna haunt you? Oh, uh, weeks. We terrified all their all the viewers. We have right. just crushed their hopes and dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my hell, uh, America, uh, <laughs> and the rest of the viewing world. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm the worst at this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That is a wrap on this week's episode of Collider Behind the Scenes and Bloopers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now is the time for you to tell me what was your greatest childhood fear. I want to hear all about it. Share them in the comments section below. While we wait for next week's episode of Behind the Scenes, share this one with some of your friends, your family, whoever, and watch old episodes because they're great. You can watch them again and again, and they're still fun. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you real soon. <laughs>